Hello, this is Martin Petelov, and today I would like to talk to you about toxic burden, the industrial society toxic burden. I have prepared a um, slide presentation, so I'd like to go through that. Detoxing from toxic heavy metals with zeolite. How our industrial societies has brainwashed you into giving yourself heavy metal poisoning with mercury, lead, cadmium, cesium, uranium, plutonium, and more. Who am I? Well, my name is Martin Petella. I work as a health coach. I'm also the CEO at Life Enthusiast, and I'm a CMTA certified metabolic typing advisor. <clears throat> In functional medicine, we focus on root cause resolution. This is a really important point. And uh, the metabolic typing advisor is a person who is somewhat educated about how genetics and uh, nutrition intersect. We have gone far and wide to understand how there are diff genetic differences in people and how some of, some of us are adapted well to certain diets. In fact, that is critical. The uh, biological individuality overrides the statistics. We'll talk about that some other time, but... Uh, just let it be known that uh, there is no such thing as the ideal diet. There is ideal diet for you, which may not be the same diet for your neighbor, your, pres your wife, your husband, and so on. Uh, back in my earlier life, I also trained as clinical hypnotherapist, and I also did a whole lot of training in my earlier incarnation when I was in the computer industry. My original education is in computer science and business administration. I spent 20 years working in the, um, in the high-tech field. I was engaged in uh, the PC revolution. It was interesting times. My background, you know, I, I want to share some of my life just so you understand where I'm coming from. I, uh, I grew up in a um, typical family. My dad was a veterinarian. I was raised believing in science. I was raised believing in the rational mind. I was raised to trust professionals. Um, I went to the university, got myself educated, and uh, I believed in the society that it was built for everyone's benefit. Um, when I was 25, I was freshly immigrated into Canada, and I had my first job, uh, and it was a unionized job in a sawmill. I was just learning to speak English, so I took the uh, labor job. It was good, good for me, character building. But anyway, 90 days in, I got my ticket, and I was a permanent, permanent uh, in the union, and with it came a health insurance and a dental insurance. And so I went to the dentist. And I trusted the person. I thought that they would act in my benefit. In retrospect, I don't think it was like that. But because it was all covered by insurance, I didn't really care. So I came out of the meeting or out of the presentation with, you need fillings, you need 12 of them, you know, these, these teeth, teeth look weak and you're gonna need repairs. What's really shocking is that none of the other teeth that were not filled ever needed fixes. Well, anyway, so I started going to the dentist and after the first set of three fillings went in, I got a flu, a really bad flu. I, I didn't used to get sick, but all of a sudden there I was, just ill as can be. And then uh, after the second set, I had a breakout of herpes on my lips. I had been infected from the age of 18. I knew that, but I never had a breakout. And all of a sudden my immune system was crashing and there I was with a herpes breakout. And then three months in, I think that it was after the fourth set was already in, all of a sudden my back gave in. Like all of a sudden I was in incredible back pain, couldn't walk, 
started going to see chiropractor to uh, put me back together. And then some months in, I got ill with plantar fasciitis. That's when the structure of your foot starts collapsing, like flat foot. So I went and I saw a um, orthopedic surgeon and uh, he gave me a cortisone shot. And for six weeks, I was feeling better. And then it wore off and I was back worse than I was before. And then I was starting to get carpal tunnel syndrome. My wrists were hurting. Anyway, my, my structure was falling apart. Like I was just going to pieces. I just didn't know why. And then uh, maybe two years in, the periodontal disease set in. Gum recession and loose teeth and uh, just problems. And then, and then it continued. I was getting worse and worse. Uh, these back problems, they were getting really bad. Like I had bouts of the back went out, and for the next three weeks, I was unable to walk. I would have to crawl from the bed to the toilet and then do my business and then crawl back and lay down again. Like Really bad news. And then in between, I was getting allergies and like significantly bad allergies that I wanted to scratch my eyes out. And I was putting on weight and uh, my, I had moments when my mind just wasn't as sharp as I remember it. So, you know, I, I was searching for solutions. So first with the orthopedic surgeon, then with the chiropractor, I, I mean, competent people, they were doing what they were taught. The chiropractor was awesome. He would put me back together, but I had to come back twice a week to be able to carry on with my physical job. Later on, uh, maybe like three, four years later, I had moved on to the high-tech industry out of the labor jobs. And I was seeing a naturopath and they were testing me and they were recommending supplements and nutritional changes. And my back was still in trouble. Like I was frequently in pain. So I, I was searching. So I tried Alexander therapy and Feldenkrais method and Bowen therapy and Rolfing. Now that is quite something. Rolfing, you should investigate. And then I went to a cranial sacral therapist. I really liked that. That was very good. And then I started understanding that there actually is a strong connection between the emotional health and the physical health. So I started into uh, quantum touch and body talk and new method kinesiology and touch for health and brain gym and educa and uh, acupuncture. And we were, we were chasing the symptoms throughout this search. All of these well-educated people were addressing the symptoms like the back is out. We'll put it back together. We'll try this, try that. But we were not asking, but what is the cause of that? And then about 10 years in, I actually found a hair analysis that I had done two years in after the fillings went in. And on it, I remember looking at it back then, thinking, how did I get mercury? Like, where did that come from? Like I was totally not connecting the fact that I had been poisoned by mercury through, from the fillings because the dentist didn't tell me. He didn't call it mercury silver amalgam fillings. He called them silver amalgam fillings. Well, so here's what happens. I found a study that showed that both nerves and the immunity and digestion and uh, general loss of function happens when their levels of methylmercury rise in the body. And finally, about 10 years in, it dawned on me that I was not going to get help from these well-trained and well-meaning professionals. I was going to have to go functional. And the solution was in detoxifying the metals and other pollutants. And uh, so looking back, now I know that there are these five, five main points. Get rid of toxicity, 
get rid of nutritional def deficits and imbalances, overcome stagnation by introducing sufficient movement, and rebuild electric potential. That is really critical. The electron is the currency of health. Um, oxidation is the stealing of electrons, and antioxidant is a donor of electrons. And the way we get electrons is by walking barefoot on the earth or by eating foods that have grown in the earth that are still raw, like raw carrot juice or salads and, and things like that. And then the third one, or fifth one, I should say, we need to resolve trauma, stored trauma, whether it's emotional or physical, we need to deal with that. So I, I was studying, I was reading a lot in, on the topic. And so on the screen, you see the names of all the smart people's names, whose books I read. And it was a lot of reading. I feel quite confident that I have read enough to get me a uh, naturopath equivalent. And in the process, I've learned how the body works, the physiology, but especially the whys, how the functional medicine has the right answers, whereas the Western mainstream medicine is only engaged in chasing of the symptoms, never solving the why, never solving what caused them. So um, through about uh, well, 30 years of practice, I have now come up with incremental improvements of what what i know here now at life enthusiast i'm sharing the depth of all what i've learned in the last 30 years the detox tools the nutritional protocols the understanding of movement and exercise understanding of electricity and how we can protect ourselves from the electromagnetic fields that we are now swimming in you know we humans we have been designed for a life on the prairie or savanna, which is not the same thing as living in a city with a Wi-Fi and cell tower next door. And how to deal with emotional healing. So I finally understood that the problem was caused primarily by the heavy metals. There's more to it, but the heavy metals was the worst of it. So what do we do? How did we get here? Well, society-wide, somehow we have come up with using mercury in amalgam fillings. We can also pick it up in vaccinations, and we can pick it up by eating fish that are high on the food chain, like mahi-mahi uh, and tuna. There's a really interesting um, uh, little video on the IAOMT.org website. You can see it there. They show how the mercury evaporates from a mercury amalgam filling years after. Anyway, mercury is really toxic. The other supremely toxic metal is lead. And we pick it up from water pipes. Uh, either lead pipes or soldered copper pipes. And we also pick it up from paints. Older houses until uh, I think about 40 years ago were painted with lead paints. The lead was added to the paint to limit uh, fungus growth. It's really effective, but unfortunately it's toxic. When we get heavy metals inside of us, we trigger problems. There are other metals like cesium, uranium, plutonium, essentially effects of metal works. And uh, cesium you can pick up actually <laughs> from jewelry. Um, and organic chemicals like hexavalent chromium. As the industrial production continues with the rising levels of toxicity, I should say this. Here's an interesting point. It's called LD50. Like LD50, lethal dose of 50, means that half of the subjects that receive the dose will die. So if, for example, 
uh, we give two mice an LD1 of mercury, as in one in a hundred would die, and we combine it with the LD1 of lead, as in one in a hundred would die, it becomes an LD100. And the uh, reductionist scientists of the mainstream kind like to study things in isolation. So they will study the mercury toxicity in isolation and the lead toxicity in isolation, not putting the two together. But that's what we are living in. We are living the experience of being exposed. You combine LD1 of lead with LD1 of mercury and you have an LD100. Everybody dies. Now, we don't have these dose doses this high, but the effect is cumulative and uh, logarithmic. And so as we move forward and we're putting more and more of these toxic elements into the circulation, we're seeing rising levels of problems. And we see that in the nervous system where we have autism and Asperger's and ADD and ADHD. And we see it in systemic problems like lupus and arthritis and endocrine problems like Addison, Sjogren and Hashimoto and physical problems like the migraine syndrome and back pains and the carpal tunnel and plantar fasciitis that I was getting. The point is that toxicity can affect practically every system in the body. Every part of your body can be the one. Why? Weakest link. We all have genetic strengths and genetic weaknesses. It's now become generally known that epigenetics is more important than genetics. The epigenetics is the lived experience. A gene is a switch that can be turned on or turned off with its positive side strengthened or its negative side strengthened. And it happens by how we live. And toxins, as deposited in the, in the body, can indeed be those levers that affect how the switch moves. When you see a, uh, an illness in a person, like on the screen you might see the pictures, like there's a picture of a little baby with vitiligo. The, the pigmentation is missing. The face of Michael Jackson with rosacea on his face. Another person with lichen planus on their hand and uh, another person's face with uh, dermatitis of some sort, eczema on the face perhaps. Those are all visible signs of an autoimmune disease in progress in the body. When we have these complications, we actually need to deal with multiple aspects. We need to deal with malnutrition, stagnation, the emotional trauma and the EMF, electromagnetic frequencies and the grounding. But most of all, or at least with the most payback, we need to deal with the toxicity, especially of heavy metals, herbicides, pesticides, plastics, and volatile organic compounds. When we solve that, we see a huge benefit. I'd like to direct you to a, an article that you, you can look, look up on uh, uh, New York Times the lawyer who became DuPont's worst nightmare. It illustrates the mindset of the corporations and of the industry. There's a movie with Mark Ruffalo out, Dark Waters. I recommend it to everyone. Watch it. It's the story of DuPont's, DuPont in Pennsylvania and how they dealt with the chemicals or the leftovers of Teflon production. They poisoned fields and rivers, and they've done it since the 1950s. And they knew, they knew what they were doing, but hid the facts and poisoned the land and the people anyway. And they lied about it, tried to hide it, and tried to defeat the weak, small people with lawyers and money. Anyway, I don't hold the industry in great regard in general because they have taken shortcuts and they are responsible for the rising levels of poisons in our environment. So there are multiple ways one could detox. There are detox methods that uh, involve EDTA. EDTA is a substance that binds electropositive elements. It's somewhat indiscriminatory in the sense that it will bind calcium, which is two plus, 
just as sure as lead. That is also two plus, you know, two electrons missing. And we do have it available. Uh, Medicardium is a product made by uh, a remedy link, and we have it available in our website. And it's 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 a suppository. It's uh, used rectally, and it's very effective at binding. There is another way of uh, administering EDTA. It's done intravenously, which would be much less convenient because now you have to go into a doctor's office, have yourself plugged in through an intravenous drip. Typically, it's done through a dozen of sessions, each of which will cost you $150. This usually is accompanied with testing. I'll, I'll talk about these other methods. Like fulvic acid, for example, is a wonderful tool because it binds cytotoxicity, so it helps the body detoxify the cells. Sulfur, in the form of either DMSO or MSM, is also very helpful because it helps the body methylate. Methylation is the method by which we neutralize toxins and also to move ions across the cellular membrane. In the natural world, cilantro and chlorella have been recommended a lot. There are some natural products. Cilantro is that which helps to knock out of hiding the heavy metals and chlorella with its thick cell wall is the material that's used to try and scrub it out. And then sauna and heat mats, they are the method by which we try to push up the body's ability to get rid of things. I, I personally have used zeolite and I have recommended it to many. And I can assure you that it's very easy to use compared to the intravenous. It's, it's a walk in the park because all you do is you just take it. We have it available either in liquid form or in capsules or in loose powder. The important things, um, thing about it is that it actually binds the large molecules. It's not a chelating agent like EDTA. It attracts things electrically. I'll, I'll show you in just a moment what it looks like. The point is, as soon as you start getting rid of the heavy metals, your mood improves, your energy levels improve, your allergy symptoms go away, the immune system starts functioning, the inflammation levels go down. It's removing the free radicals, so of course it's reducing risk of all manner of illness. And the big deal about it is that it's quite inexpensive and quite convenient, and it can be used by everybody, adults, children, even pets. Here's what it looks like when, when it's mined for industrial use. Zeolite has been used to mop up all kinds of spills, toxic spills. It's, it's absorbent. It absorbs all kinds of things. It was used in, uh, the, uh, in the Ukraine. It, they tossed it in rivers to try and mop up the uh, uranium and other toxic things that were coming off of the uh, blown up reactor. Crystalline version looks something like this. You can see the structure. It's got aluminum, oxygen, and silicon. This is what it looks like. They call it the sodalite cage. The molecule is made out of atoms that are built in this organized way. It looks sort of like a sponge in a way. Each of those little cages will hold an electropositive element because it itself maintains electronegative stance. Here's another way of showing it. Bernd Smith, professor of chemistry, has done this study and showed it what it looks like and how the negative charges will attract and hold the electropositive toxins. So as these uh, bits of zeolite travel through the body, and when they encounter these large electropositive molecules, they're, they're attached and they're held and the zeolite takes it out of the body. Here I put on the, um, one of the reviews that we received a while back. Here she goes. About a year ago, I unknowingly used some very unpure magnesium for about three months. And until I put two and two together and realized that I was dealing with some strong heavy metal toxicity, I have not felt like myself for a year. I've tried many things on my journey to detoxify, and the zeolite is the only thing that seems to have made any lasting difference. I am starting to feel like myself for the first time in a year, and I'm seeing really positive changes. So that's what you have. Zeolite, we have it available in liquid, 
in capsules and in powder. It's well supported by the folic acid that we mix it with to give it the ability to both remove the toxins from the outside of the cells and the inside of the cells. Your body will sequester the heavy metals, hide it. It hides it first in fat and then in cartilage and then in the bone, tissues with low circulation. Unfortunately, our brain is made of fat, so it tends to get into the brain. The good thing with zeolite, as long as it's milled into a fine enough powder, it will go everywhere through the body and wherever it encounters the heavy metals, it binds it, holds it, and you excrete it. Do not be concerned about some articles on the internet that claim that zeolite contains heavy metals. So if the zeolite comes to you with, say, 5% of the cages already occupied by some toxins that it picked up along the way, that would not be released if you just send the zeolite through the human body. And uh, we, we have studies that show that when you take the zeolite through a living being, it never leaves anything behind. It only picks things up and takes them out of the body. Um, all the products that are on the Life Enthusiast website in the category Minerals Zeolite, we have set up a coupon for you. It's Zeo Web, Z E O W E B. It'll get you a 10% discount on products purchased here. So, this is Martin Patella, the health coach at Life Enthusiast. Um, you can reach me at 1-866-543-3388 or at life-enthusiast.com. I'd be happy to answer questions you may be asking. Feel free to call.